Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Ah, oh, it's windy again. Kansas. Wind. It never stops. I'm... Jeez. Oh, what is up, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, we're in the lodge. Uh, awesome video today. Uh, I bought a gun that... Can't wait to show you what it is. But before we get going, guys, I am booking hunts. They're open to the public. Yes, indeed. Bobby Guy, the guide service, Sand Hill Flyaways. We are up and running on the booking and uh, welcoming new guests, new clients, new father sons, new groups of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 20, however many. Um, no, there is not a group size, uh, a group size limit here at Sand Hill Flyaways. Uh, however many you got, come on. This is a painting of Fred, as you can see it, from one of this past season's clients. Extra special. Big shout out, big shout out to McKinley uh, Gregg for that. She is an amazing artist. Uh, we have the best clients in the world that come here to Sand Hill Flyways. As you can see from the map, not a lot coming from the West Coast. The line starts right in the center of Kansas and check it out. Just the East Coast is packed. A lot of y'all that are watching now, you're from this area. We've seen it. Most of the clients that come here are from the channel. Viewers, subscribers, and uh, I just want to say thank you to two years of success. And if it wasn't uh, for you guys, awesome, awesome, awesome people. Uh, just tears me up how awesome uh, you all are. Uh, thank you guys. But if you guys are wanting to book a uh, hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways, Yes, this is the lodge that y'all were here with me when we built it uh, two years ago, and it's doing amazing. I gotta say so myself. Like, a lot of you may be new here. Here's my Brant mounts, some blue Rossies, all this going on up top. If you want a book, go to www.sandhillflyways.com. Fill out the inquire to book form, guys. Uh, what that will do, It'll uh, be emailed directly to me and Beth, and then uh, it'll give us your phone number, your group size, just a little information about you guys, and then you will get a personal call from either me or my wife, Beth, and we will see if we can get you all set up and ready to go for this 22-23 waterfowl season. So, got that out of the way. Um, I would hurry up because the books are starting to pile up and we still have awesome dates left. So. Got all that out of the way. Another thing, huge surprise. Uh, just did a coyote hunt. Can't wait for you guys to see that video. Uh, another thing, I am gonna give away five dozen decoys. Five dozen decoys at the end of this video. I've really been kicking around doing a weekly giveaway on you know between my Instagram and the YouTube channel just because I have so much hunting crap. Tons, tons of decoys, tons of calls. I have so many calls and, and just so much stuff that I could sell stuff, sure, and make a little bit of money, but, and I'll sell some things, you know, big, big ticket items, but like these five dozen decoys, I know I'm never going to need them. I'll probably never even use them. So I'd like to give them to someone that needs them more than I do. So stick around the end of the video. We will be giving those away to one of y'all. Uh, but here we are. This is the new shoddy. Check her out. Brand flipping new Stoger M3500. Now, this is probably the most requested gun from all of you guys for me to per either purchase or, is that, no, ain't gonna fit, or use. And uh, she's brand new. You will not believe how much I paid for this gun. I paid $300 for this brand new absolute just beauty. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Look how just beautiful. Like, I think he said he fired it. Like, it's only been shot like once or twice, honestly. So, pretty excited about this gun. We're going to shoot it. Uh, let's get into it. First off, my first, like, just right out of the box feel of it, she's stout. She is stout, but it's got a raised rib on it, which I 
prefer raised ribs over anything. It's just what I'm used to. Brand new. They're a little stout. It'd be a good turkey gun. I'm honestly, I think I have some plans for this gun. Since it's brand new and she's already a little heavy anyways, I'm really thinking about making it my permanent extension tube gun. And what I mean, like, I hate um, putting my extension tube on and off my SB3 just because I love my SB3. Absolutely love it. It's my, it's my favorite gun. And this gun, if I, I feel like if I didn't make it a permanent tube gun, I really wouldn't use it. And it's brand new. And I want to use it. So, you guys got to drop a comment down below. Should I make this a permanent extended tube gun? We can put a hog on it, you know, like a plus 12 or plus 10. Or maybe just something nice. And uh, I, I love black guns. I'm probably not going to ever Cerakote. If I have a black gun, I'm never going to Cerakote it. I am a black gun guy. I love black guns. Uh, but she is beautiful, man. $300. Now, the thing about Stoker's and why so many of you have them out there, um, I believe, you guys got to correct me if I'm wrong, but they could be, I, I'm pretty sure they're darn near the most affordable three and a half inch chambered shotgun that you can dang near buy, you know, on the market. So always, I've always, 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 always heard amazing things about them, um, especially from a lot of you guys. If you have an M3500, please drop a comment down below. Doesn't have to be a huge uh, comment, just something that you like about your Stoger. Maybe you've had it seven years, never had a hiccup, let us know about it. And, and if you have an idea of what I should do with it, let me know because, again, I want to use it. First off, we got to see something here. I got the gun. Yeah. I got the gun. And the guy I got it from and where I got it, uh, they were like, hey, we have some ammunition that'll go with it. And I'm like, perfect. And, uh, huh. I figured it was going to be like BB or, you know, number two shot steel loads or something. No, it was this. <laughs> uh, that, that would be a slug. One ounce rifled slug. <laughs> so, he obviously shot those out of this once or twice, I'm assuming. So I need to look at the barrel. What does he have in here? This is a improved cylinder. So if he was shooting, he was shooting slugs out of one ounce slugs out of an improved cylinder. That might be all right. Obviously, it's all right because it didn't tear the choke up. I think we should go shoot one of these slugs. I didn't. I don't think I've ever shot a slug. Yeah, we're definitely going to go out back and shoot a slug. Uh, but, yeah, I say we just get out there and shoot. I'm, I really want to shoot this gun. Let's go out back. We're going to shoot the slug. Probably add a piece of wood or something. And then I want to put some 2 and 3 quarter lead through it and some steel shot 3 inch. And maybe even shoot a 3 and a half inch shell. Let's go see how she feels. Alright, here we go. Found me a chopped piece of wood. Uh-huh. I'm excited about the new gun. When I found it, I couldn't believe that I got it for 300 bucks. I'm not sure. I think I looked at the price. I think they were like 650 bucks, 600 bucks. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. Ooh, she's smooth. First and foremost, wow, that shot really nice. The weight of it, not saying it's a tank, but boy, the muzzle did not come up at all. That was a steady, 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 just, I figured that slug, I was gonna go boom. That's a good handling shotgun, man. I like it. Uh, right there, did it go through? Absolutely. Absolutely it did. 
I miss the old Mythbuster videos. We got to bring them back, especially with slugs. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff we could do. What's that? Yeah. Two and three quarters laying around the ground out here. Uh, let's. So that's that's one of the biggest things I'm worried about with this gun. A lot of three and a half inch guns don't like to cycle two and three quarter really light, you know, dove loads. I got three of them and they're all the same. These are uh, one and an eighth ounce, seven and a half shot lead. Let's give it a go. I want to see if it'll go through all three of them without jamming up. I'm liking this gun. I'm not going to lie. Y'all were right. All you guys that have dropped a comment down below all the time saying, Bob, you need to try the M3500. You're right. Let's see if she'll go through all three without messing up. Nope, it did not. Oh, goodness. Okay. She might let, she might need some oil. It went through those two. Maybe she just needed warmed up. Hold on. All right, we're back. Went and found some more shells. First off, I need to make sure that there's a plug in here. One, two. Oh no. Oh. Well, it barely. That ain't good. If there is a plug in there, it's not long enough. Okay, now we got three. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll go through all three. That's what it's doing right there, guys. It's spitting the shell down. It's ejecting. It's ejecting the empty. What in the world? But it's not pushing a shell back up. But it goes through the last two just fine. What in the world? One last try. I haven't taken the tube off to see what plug or if there is a plug. Now it went through all three. Maybe she just needs warmed up. Like I said, it's brand new. It probably needs some oil. Okay, she's running now. She's running now. She's new. Probably need to take her apart, put some good lube in her. But I like it. I like the weight of it. It doesn't rise on me a lot. Good gun. But that's the thing with three and a half inch guns. Um, I've had issues, you know, with my my Benelli. I've had issues with my front. Well, uh, not my front because it's not because it's not a three and a half inch gun. But uh, three and a half inch guns are known for not cycling two and three quarter light loads very well. That would mean only one thing. Let's try a three inch shell. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt the shoulder a little bit more. But, let's see if it'll go through all three on the first go. These are three inch shells. These are three inch uh, number one shot. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> I've been pigeon hunting. Using two and three quarter. Oh, boy, howdy. Yesterday's coyote hunt, I used, uh, and you guys will see that video, I used three and a half inch number six shot lead and they were an ounce and seven eighths absolute rockets bangers missiles bombs turds big ones well final thoughts you know i want to hunt with the gun you know what i think i'm going to do 
we're going on another coyote hunt and I'm I got some buckshot yeah I'm gonna take the old Stoger and I'm gonna use buckshot on the next it's double out buck I got a bunch of it I just didn't want to shoot it through uh, my Benelli but on the next coyote hunt I'm gonna use double out buck with the Stoger so be looking out for that video it'll be in a little while but we'll go and film that hunt tomorrow hopefully wish us good luck we've been having good luck yesterday we decoyed called in i guess you should say six coyotes i can't tell you how many we shot you'll have to wait uh but it's my first time calling coyotes actually calling them and it working uh big shout out to wade his uh e-caller is amazing and he knows the right sounds let me tell you what but final thoughts i love the gun i'm ready to hunt with it I'm ready to shoot some pigeons with it. Um, pigeons for sure. We're definitely gonna do a pigeon hunt with it and a coyote hunt really, really shortly. But you guys gotta drop a comment down below. What should I do with the gun? I think I should make an extension tube gun because if I made a tube gun, I can still use that gun for coyote hunting and for pigeons. Not turkey, obviously, but I think it's perfect. Like I said, here they are, five dozen. Snow Goose Silhouette Decoys. This is what they look like, pretty much. Yep, those ones right there. Simple, but those are used. And those ones are brand new, never opened out of the box. Five dozen of them bad boys. Like I said, they're snow geese. Um, all you have to do, drop a comment down below. And I guess all I will need is a contact. So somehow for me to get a hold of you if that makes sense if you want me to get a hold of you via i don't know instagram put your instagram handle at sam yoder or whatever your name is right uh if you don't have an instagram put your email in a comment i don't need a big comment all we need is you and how you want me to get a hold of you pretty much because I'm gonna have to ship them to you. So I hope that'll work. I'm pretty sure it will. I will be doing this drawing uh, probably this week. So I'll be contacting the winner. And like I said, I have so much crap, just so much stuff to give away that honestly, a lot of you can use it more than me. And that's the way I look at it. It's a way of me giving back to you guys and just saying thank you for being here all these years because we're still out here doing it man still out here and i enjoy it and uh again thank you guys so so much and i think we're going to be doing giveaways over on the instagram as well we each week we'll either do a uh a giveaway over there or over here on the channel and just kind of go back and forth and make it fun but um uh, like i said guys if you guys are interested in booking a hunt Got to get a hold of me, and the best way to do it is just fill out that inquire to book form. You can also DM me on Instagram at Sand Hill Flyways. So, thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I was really pumped to buy this shotgun just because of the sheer magnitude of you guys over the last six years of the channel commenting, Bobby, you need to buy you a 3500. And finally did. And I gotta say, y'all, you guys are right. It's a, she's a beaut, Clark. I mean, she's a beauty. I, I really like the gun, and you never know. I might just keep shooting it for good. Put down the old Benelli, you know. Save her the old Benelli for some time else. Thank you all for being here. Stay safe out there. But until next time.